As Christians, when we got baptized, we signed up to be in this spiritual battle, whether we like it or not. God, of course, out of His great love for us, uh, would equip us in this spiritual battle. That's why in our fir uh, first reading today, St. Paul was talking about, put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I was like asking the Lord, Lord, give me an example of scripture of somebody who took the armor of God. And he gave me the imagery of King David. You know, when King David was fighting Goliath, right? Uh, first of all, what are, what are the armor of God? There's the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes so that you will proclaim the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword, which is the word of God. We know in, 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 with King David, uh, because he wrote the Psalms, he was, he, was, he was very familiar with the word of God, the truth. He has that, that belt that he would wear. Even as a young boy, he would wear this belt. He would also have this breastplate of righteousness. I don't know if you remember uh, telling you the definition of righteousness. Righteousness is not perfection, right? Righteousness is being in the right relationship with God. And no, we know King David, despite her imperfections, her weaknesses, her sinfulness, he would repent and get right with his relationship with God. And with the shoes, with the gospel of peace, we know that, that King David uh, was a man of peace. Even though King Saul wanted to kill him, he would always treat him with peace. Okay? And in, the, in, this, in this battle with Goliath, right, uh, we see here how he has this shield of faith. Okay? He, he, you know, he has this great faith, and it, 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 this, this faith grew out from his intimacy with God. Okay? And, you know, when, when they were looking for somebody who would fight Goliath, and he volunteered, King Saul said, you're too young to fight Goliath. What, what did King David say? The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. You see here, his great faith in God, but also, you know, he, here he, he's exemplifying, he's wearing this helmet of salvation, that the Lord would save him, right? And then, uh, so King Saul put, put on David this armor, the physical armor, right? Which is too heavy. And, and King David said, I cannot go on this because I'm not used to them. So he took them off. Even though he was not wearing the physical armor, he was wearing the armor of God, right? The, the spiritual armor of God. And, and then he used this, uh, he has this sword, sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. When he, when he gives, gave this prophetic word to Goliath, what did he say to Goliath? You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have divided. This day, the Lord will deliver you into my hands, and I'll strike you, strike you down and cut off your head. The prophetic word, that was his sword, sword of the Spirit. And it came to, it, it came to fruition, right? He was able to defeat Goliath. And that's the same with us. You know, King David is a good example for us on how to, that we need to wear this armor of God. Are we meditating on scriptures so that we could wear this belt? Are we in a right relationship with God day in and day out? Okay? Are we having always have that peace? Even though with all the... Uh, you know, bad things happening in the world, even in our strained relationship with other people, are we having that peace? Do we have that faith in God? That's, that, that is the fruit of our intimacy with Him. Are we, are, do we believe that we have been saved? We are being saved and we will be saved. 
That's the helmet of salvation. Okay? And are we using the Word of God to prophesy, to give prophetic words as the sword of the Spirit? We use that in teaching as we give our testimony to people. By that, we are wearing the armor of God. And, and, and when we wear the armor of God, there's nothing to fear. There's nothing to fear when we fight this spiritual battle because we know in the end we will be victorious.